It is Class Creatives. In this video, we're going to be covering how to retarget animations out of Unreal 5, Unreal 4, and bringing them into Maya, and then from Maya back to Unreal. So just go ahead and select that, and then you'll see your mannequin showing up on the target and then the source. And you just go ahead and hit that retarget button. And now you've seen that that asset has now been retargeted, and the asset is here now. So as you can see, the Retarget doesn't really work properly with four, with 4, 2, 6, and 5. So what we're going to do is right click on the demo and we're going to switch our Unreal version back to 4, 2, 6. Then we're going to launch with 4, 2, 6. And what we're going to do is do the retarget actually in 4, 2, 6 and then we can launch it in 5 and that will fix this little bug that we're seeing. So we're going to follow the same steps that we saw in 4, that we did in five and we're going to do the same thing in 426 this time and you'll see that it's going to work as intended so you can click on the mannequin skeleton uh, right click there and you're going to create the rig leave it as default that's going to create the rig that we're going to basically retarget our assets to just go into characters this is the character that we have here and you can go into his mesh and then you'll see his skeleton. What we're going to do is double click on his skeleton and we're going to see his uh, character here. It's compiling shaders, so if you just brought him in, uh, it's natural that you're going to see that those shaders being compiled. And then all you're going to need to do is make sure that you have that UE4 mannequin rig selected in this rig setup. And then you go ahead and save that. And what we're going to do now is move his animations. And the one we're going to be retargeting is this right button right mouse button, no sword, and just go ahead and right click on that asset and then retarget the animation and duplicate it and make sure you have um, this button show compatible skeletons unchecked and your mannequin rig will show up on this side for the retarget. And you just go hit that retarget button and now you've got that animation of the character on the mannequin. And it's not, uh, you know, freaking out or anything like that, like you might see in Unreal 5, if you follow those same steps. Now, if you right click now, what you can do is you can export this animation out. So you can go into the asset actions here, and then you can select export. So when you export out your animation, I would recommend that you export it into the directory where you house your art tools animation assets. If you've taken our courses or if you've downloaded previously the Art Tools Manager, you'll have this project set up on your machine wherever you may have saved it. And there's actually a uh, folder up there in the sample section for animations. I'm just going to create a Paragon folder and I'm going to export that animation here. And it's going to ask you for what you want to do with that in the settings. You can just export it as is and then we're going to be able to bring in that asset right into Maya. And then we're going to be able to edit that information uh, that we exported out, uh, outside of Unreal. So now that we're in Maya, well, all we need to do is go into the art um, menu and we can add a character for animation. Now I have two characters in here. Um, if you've created a custom character, which we discuss on a lot of our lectures on how to create a custom character uh, that breaks with the animation rigging tools, you'll see it saved in your project. That's what you're seeing here. For your default, you may be just using the mannequin skeleton, and that's what we're going to use for this example. All you need to do is hit add and close, and it's going to bring in that character. So now we have the character imported into our scene. Now what we need to do is bring in that animation that we just exported out of Unreal. So you're just going to go ahead and hit this import motion button, which is this top button on the GUI over here. And it's going to ask you to import the motion capture that you would like to import. Now you just need to browse to the folder that you previously saved your animation. And you go ahead and import that animation. And you can choose your import method. So you can choose if you would like to use FK controllers, if you set your mannequin for FK controllers, or in this case, it's a defaulted set to IK. I'm not going to do anything crazy right now. I'm just going to import it as um, IK. That's what the default controllers are on the mannequin rig. And then you just hit import. It's going to go through the process of solving all of your IK pull vectors and your IK controllers. And it's also going to be keeping in mind your frame range and your frame rate 
for uh, what you've set inside of Maya. So I'm just doing the default 30 frames per second. I'm not doing any offsets. If you wanted to offset, you could put this here at 100 frames later in the timeline if you would like. If you're working with other animations in the scene, you may want to do an offset. Otherwise, you can leave it as default and it's just going to import them right into the beginning of your Maya scene. Okay, so now that it's done importing that motion, we can go ahead and look at our scene. And now we see our animation right here inside of Maya on our mannequin. Now you can notice that there's some interesting things that are happening with our character. You can see that there is uh, some issues with the uh, knee popping. So it's pretty easy. What we can do is modify uh, these controls to get rid of this pop. So in here you can see this is the knee twist. If we remove that from the curves, you're going to see that the issue actually needs to be these controllers and you'll see that now the knee is completely straight. So taking a look at your graph editor, um, you can see any pops and things of that nature that you might want to adjust. Now I'm not gonna go over a lot of the animation in this particular lecture, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify this animation and clean it up so that there are a few things that we could be adding in here. Like you can see that these feet are, could probably be um, animated to have some foot rolls instead of the legs popping. And you can see that there's some stretching happening in these areas as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up that animation um, and then we're gonna bring that animation back into Unreal and modify uh, and use this modified animation just like you would if you wanted to change the performance of the actual animation inside of this. So what we can basically do here is if we wanted to change this pose, if we wanted to, again, like fix a lot of these pops that we're seeing that are coming into the engine or things that are hyper extending, arms that are kind of going too straight, we can soften those poses and adjust things right here inside of Maya and then bring those animations back to Unreal. So once you've modified your animation, so in this case I've added some foot roll and I've actually kind of raised the feet so that they're actually on the ground. What we need to do then is export our animation. So we just need to go into the GUI and hit export motion. And then we're gonna set our time frame from zero to 30. And we can go ahead and name this animation into the same folder. In this case, I'm gonna name it modify. And then what we're gonna do is re-import the source of this uh, animation into Unreal. So we're going to go ahead and export this out and it's automatically going to know um, everything that it needs to export. So it's a very nice convenient uh, GUI that can basically just be very error proof for exporting out your animation. So now we can go into Unreal and we can kind of see this animation that was in here before. You can see that um, there really isn't any foot roll happening. So now all we need to do is re import our animations into this scene. So what we can do is re-import animation and it's gonna ask us what animation we wanna re-import as the source. We're gonna use this as the modify animation here. You can see he adjusted and then you're gonna be able to now see that he's got some of this foot roll animation that we added in uh, Maya that was not there previously and he's still doing the same motion that we had um, that we changed outside of Unreal. So that's basically the process of how you can take an animation that you've downloaded from the asset store in Unreal and export it out and then bring it into Unreal and modify it as you would like. Now you can imagine that if this was a different character, you can easily have imported this on with a different mesh altogether. Uh, it's, it's basically the same process as what we covered, uh, but since uh, everything is being worked uh, pretty much for free with the uh, mannequin. This is how you would basically export those animations into Maya, modify them, and bring them back into the engine. So to kind of fix that bug that we were seeing earlier, I recommend to right click on that demo project and then switch to Unreal Engine. And you can go into version five and go ahead and launch your version of Unreal. And you'll be able to then take a look at those animations that we already set up in 426. And then you'll be able to see that that retarget is going to transfer over pretty nicely. So we just go ahead and launch on Reel 5 after we made that setting change. And then you'll be able to see that that animation is existing here the way we created it with that foot roll and everything working correctly. 
So that's one thing to take note of is that that retarget in Unreal 5 has some glitches, but it works perfectly fine in 426. So I recommend exporting out of 426 and then relaunching your project after you've retargeted everything uh, and bringing that in as uh, as is. And it could be possibly be because that skeleton isn't fully supported in 5. So these are some workarounds that you will need to do to get everything retargeted from Maya and bringing it back into the Unreal Engine um, as it currently stands. Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.